As the world becomes more connected than ever, transportation technology has improved tremendously. It is certainly our dream to travel faster, safer, and most importantly, with more comfort. Boeing, Airbus aim to achieve that by building bigger airplanes that travel at a higher altitude. Concorde has its vision on supersonic flights. And BFR, the most audacious of all, wants its big Falcon rockets for on-Earth transportation. However, one thing every one of them seem to have forgotten is that perhaps a, a combination of rocket engine speed and commercial aircraft's reliability is a better way to go. I'm Lei, let's talk about it today. And thanks Stash Lane for supporting this video. More about that later. First of all, we have done this before. Powering airplanes with rocket engines is not a new idea. In fact, the first airplane that's powered by rocket engines was invented almost 100 years ago in 1928. It's called Ante, and it was powered by two very primitive cinder black powder rockets with 44.1 pound thrust only. Following the invention of Ante, human dreams to push the limit has brought us better and more powerful rocket-propelled aircrafts. After Herco 176 in 1939 and Yukusoka MXY-7 in 1944, rocket-powered aircrafts finally culminated in its capability in the 1950s with the famous North America X-15. At the time of creation, X-15's working principle is already no different comparing to modern rocket engines like the Merlin engines on Falcon 9. That's how powerful rocket-propelled aircrafts were. For your reference, Merlin engines on Falcon Eye has 190,000 pound thrust each and is powered by liquid kerosene and liquid oxygen, while the XLR engines on North America X-15 has a thrust of 70,000 pound and was powered by liquid ammonia and liquid oxygen. The point is, technically, we can use rocket engines to power aircrafts and we have done it before. So the real question we need to ask is, is it sensible to put rocket engines on a commercial aircraft. For that, we need to understand how rocket engines differ from the engines we use in commercial aircrafts like Boeing 747. To put things simply, they operate based on two different sets of objectives. Although both engines burn fuels and eject fuel mass to gain momentum, commercial aircraft engines are usually more efficient and it does not need to carry liquid oxygen with it. In a commercial aircraft engine, oxygen is being sucked in from the front, a small portion of it is used for combustion, a large quantity is directed by turbofan bypassing the engine to increase efficiency. As a result, this is more efficient than rocket engines because rocket engines carry huge tanks of liquid oxygen. Here's a cross-section of SpaceX Falcon 9, and as you can see, the majority of the volume and mass of the Falcon 9 are occupied by its fuel, half liquid kerosene, half liquid oxygen. This makes rocket engine very inefficient in commercial situations because commercial companies want to carry as many passengers as possible per flight, not fuels. So this ends the discussion, right? It will be too costly to use rocket engines on commercial aircrafts, and it's too inefficient. Well, not so fast. Obviously, there is a reason why this question is interesting. We want to use rocket engines for commercial flights, not because it's more efficient, but because it makes them faster. Think of it on a spectrum. On one end of the spectrum is Airbus and Boeing's commercial fleet, and on the other end is SpaceX Big Falcon rocket that aspires to transport people from New York to Singapore under 30 minutes. Could we have something in between that's the question. Using both types of engines to take advantage of rocket engine speed and aircraft engine's efficiency. The answer to this question is once again, yes. We have also done it before, mostly in military jets that require huge takeoff power. It's called Rocket Assisted Takeoff, and Boeing B-47 Strattlejet is a good example. Boeing B-47 uses rocket-assisted takeoff bottles to reduce takeoff distance and it uses normal turbo engines you find on commercial aircrafts to provide sustained thrust throughout the flight. This rocket capability enabled B-47 to take off from aircraft carriers that have a much shorter runway. This is an interesting case, but again, this would not be applicable in commercial situations as a shorter runway is not a constraint for commercial flights. 
throughout the research of this video, I had this conviction that I want to prove to you guys that rocket engines can be used for commercial flights. But the truth is, there is one other piece of technology that I haven't talked about prevents it from happening. The afterburner. Afterburner is a component that injects additional fuel into the turbine to significantly increase thrust in a short period of time. This technology is usually used in military fighter jets, and one prominent example of it used in commercial space is none other than Concorde, the most famous supersonic commercial aircraft of all time. Because of this, the more I research into the topic, the harder it is to justify using rocket engines in commercial situations because it can be effectively replaced by the afterburner technology. To give you some perspective, the fastest speed Concorde has ever achieved is 2,179 kilometers per hour, or just over 2 Mach. In comparison, first stage of Falcon 9 separates at a speed of 6,000 kilometers per hour, and the famous American fighter jet's F-16 has a top speed of 2,414 kilometers per hour. This is how crazy fast Concorde already was, and how powerful afterburners could be on a commercial airliner. Rocket engines are completely overkill for commercial flights, not to mention the safety concerns. So, although the answer to the question is no, we probably can't fly commercial aircrafts with rocket engines, it did show me where the limits of my understandings are. The underlying assumption of the entire video imply that rocket engines are somehow better than commercial aircraft engines. But this assumption is simply wrong. While rocket engines are more powerful with higher thrust than commercial aircraft engines, higher thrust itself does not necessarily mean better. The truth is, rocket engines are designed for space travel and transportation, and that's exactly what it should be doing. If we're talking about air travel with a lot of people, normal air-breathing engines are designed for that, and hence should be used. If you want a little bit more speed, afterburners are designed for that. Rocket engines are not better, it's simply more powerful because it's designed that way. Talking about design, one thing humans are not designed to do is to remember passwords. If you're like me, you probably own hundreds of online accounts and after a while, you just can't keep track of all your old passwords. Dashlane is a free platform agnostic software that helps you manage and secure your passwords wherever you are. With Dashlane, not only will you not forget a password ever again, you don't even need to remember them in the first place because Dashlane automatically signs you into different accounts on different websites. When you decide to change your password with one click, Dashlane will navigate the website, change your old password to a new, more secured one. It saved a lot of headaches for me, I'm sure it will do the same for you as well. So, to support Curious Elephant and never worry about remembering passwords ever again, sign up for Dashlane with a link in the description down below for free. Our friends at Dashlane also sent me a 10% discount code, so be sure to use Curious Elephant when you decided to upgrade to their premium services. Lastly, I want to welcome uh, Chime Patnik, Thomas, Ashish Awagat, and Will Moody to my Patreon. Thank you all for your support. Uh, hope, hopefully, I didn't butcher your name too badly just now. Uh, you guys are also invited to support me on Patreon if you like the content on this channel. I have the link in the description down below. All right, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I'm Lai. I'll catch you guys later.